Thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you everybody for all the support on my last video and on my channel in general. Thank you, one, for 500 subscribers. That is truly amazing to me, something I really thought I'd never do on YouTube. It doesn't seem like that big of a number, but it really is to me. It's really awesome to get that kind of support and that many subscribers. Secondly, thank you for all the support on the last video and some of my other videos after that. The support was amazing. All the kind comments and the people who wanted to add their own theories in, I thought that was really cool and really interesting that people wanted to continue the conversation even down into the comments section. And that's why in this video, I'm going to respond to some of your guys' theories that you left in the comments section. Because honestly, there were a lot of really good theories and a lot of really good comments left in the comments section. And a little bit of this is just going to be clarifying some things that I maybe didn't make clear enough in the last videos. And I just want to clear the air on and make sure everybody understands. Before I do that, like I said, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is truly amazing to me. Let's go ahead and get into the first comment though, which is actually not going to be just one comment, but it's going to be the comment I received the most. And honestly, until just a few days ago, I was 100% on board with. I thought it would be amazing and I thought it was something that really was a possibility of happening. And that would be something like a link up between our Far Cry 5 save game and our Far Cry New Dawn that would make the deputy look like the player character from our Far Cry 5 save. And I thought that would be really cool. A lot of other games have done similar stuff with that. And it ought to be pretty easy for Ubisoft to do that. But, sadly, I have to drop the bomb on everyone that I really don't think that's going to happen. And the reason I say that is because as I was doing some research for another video, I ended up on the Far Cry New Dawn Twitter, which took me to the forums, and a forum post about the guns for hire in New Dawn, and the little snippet there about the judge, which says that the judge is a silent character who never removes their mask and does everything that Joseph Seed says to do. To me, that kind of put the nail in the coffin that any type of transfer over or anything like that would happen. And I can already hear you guys down in the comment section clicking away with your Cheeto covered fingers. Yes, that's only really true if my theory is true that the deputy is the judge and they are one and the same. The deputy could be another character and that character could be a transferred character. But again, I really believe my theory. so. At the moment, I don't really think that's true. If you don't think the judge is the deputy, that's cool. Again, it's just theory, and everybody's allowed to have their own theories and ideas, and we'll find out on the 15th what's right, what's true, and hopefully we all get to enjoy the game, and it's a really enjoyable game for us. But sadly, the comment I had the most is going to turn out probably to be wrong. It was something Ubisoft could have probably easily done, but... I do understand from a storytelling point how it's much easier just to make the judge a silent masked character who basically is just there. This next comment is going to be one that I thought was interesting. It was from Ryan who says, I hope we can help the Rook come to their senses and leave Joseph while overcoming their survivor's guilt in the game. And that would be an interesting twist to be able to help the Rook break free of Joseph, um, but I'm not really sure on that one because I'm not really sure if Joseph is going to be a true enemy in this game because we're playing as a new player character who is new to the Hope County region. This player character theoretically doesn't know what Joseph actually did, is only going to know the stories of Joseph Seed through tales and what other people who are from Hope County tell the player character. It's kind of a clean slate with Joseph Seed. We, we really don't see him as a bad guy anymore, at least from what I see so far. And again, this is just some speculation, not 100% in the game. He could totally be one of the biggest enemies in the game. 
but I doubt it because three enemies in one game that come from two different groups would be a lot of story balancing and I feel like we're going to have to sort of get over that anger that us as players resent at Joseph Seed and learn to work with him to defeat the new enemies which is going to be the highwaymen and of course their leaders the twins. It could be a tough road for some players you know a lot of players are very angry at Joseph Seed and really just through the whole game wanted to kill him. I know in my whole playthrough I was so disappointed that when I got to the end and I couldn't just shoot Joseph Seed because all I could see going into that final fight was just feel that moment when I could just shoot Joseph Seed and put one in between his eyes but you never get that. You never get that gratification. And it was a really good storytelling ploy but it really tugs at you know, what people want inside of them and feel deep down. Sadly, I don't really think that one's going to happen, but it was a really interesting theory, and it would be kind of cool if we could do something like that, though. Dupity? Dupity lol? What? What the fuck is this? You spelled Deputy Dupity in the thumbnail. Eh, no, no, no fucking way. Ah, oh, motherfucker! Okay, okay, I can, I can fix this, I can fix this, I can fix this, don't worry, don't worry. There you go. I fixed it. Hope you guys are happy now. Third comment here is going to be something kind of along the lines of the last thing we just talked about. And it's going to come from Stubby Hands, who says, I feel like Joseph's views have changed drastically based on what we see in Far Cry 5 versus New Dawn. Based on what I've seen, I think not only is he different, but this has caused the deputy to change as well. Also, to all of you that think Joseph did something with the female version of the deputy, get your head out of the clouds. Okay, uh, the last part there is just kind of out in the wild there, but I want to talk about the first part. And I think he's right, probably, that Joseph Seed is going to be quite a changed man from what we've seen in Far Cry 5. And not just because of what happened and you know him being crazy or anything like that, but because he's in a different position now. Now he's not a cult leader. He, he's no longer just a man screaming from the rooftops that the end of the world is coming and people see him as crazy. But now he's a legitimate leader of a legitimate group in a post-apocalyptic world that's going to be seen as someone who needs to be worked with to achieve the goal of peace in Hope County, which again is going to create a lot of pulling between old characters and us as player characters about wanting to kill him or harboring resentment at him. But I think ultimately we might find a completely different Joseph Seed than we saw in Far Cry 5. We're going to find a calmer Joseph Seed. We're going to find a Joseph Seed who thinks his actions out a little better, which he already did quite a lot in Far Cry 5, if you really think about it. He really thought about what he was going to do. He didn't rush into a lot of decisions, which means we could see a Joseph Seed who is almost unstoppable. And I think this is going to come, number one, from age, from humbling of you know the world ending and having to reborn and him being right he was right all along and now people can see that even some of the characters who would have never believed what he did now that doesn't change all the bad decisions and bad actions he did in far cry 5 of killing innocents and just taking over the land and things like that so i still believe there's going to be a lot of resentment there even though ultimately he was right in the end Okay, and one little comment I want to clear up here was that a lot of people were getting confused when I was talking about how long the deputy and Joseph were in the bunker, and I said, you know, it could have been 5-10 years, and yes, I know D New Dawn takes place 17 years later, 
But the reason I came to that conclusion was because we see that they've already created a civilization and that's not something you just pop up out of the ground and happens overnight. I'm going to say they at least have been up above the ground for five years or so. They have a huge thriving society of what we've seen of the project at New Eden in a place they call Eden. And that doesn't just happen, so I do believe that they've been above ground a lot longer. And also from the trailer we hear one other character talk about how they didn't see the light of day for six years. And that kind of tells us maybe the timeline of how long people were hiding for, you know, five, six years after the bomb fell. So we could have 10, 12 years maybe of Joseph and the deputy above ground, not in the bunker in isolation. Just a little clarification there. I know that was my fault. You know, I just didn't clarify that in the video. And then finally, the last comment here is a lot of people seem to think that the judge could be Jess Black. And don't get me wrong, I see the resemblance, the green hood, the bow and arrow, the stealth, all that. I see the resemblance, but so far I haven't seen any evidence that it is Jess Black, and I haven't seen any evidence that Jess Black is even in this game or survived the nuclear blast. And she could be, I just haven't seen any confirmation of it yet. I don't really think it's Jess Black, honestly, and I think the deputy could have learned to fight like Jess Black and kind of take on maybe her attitude and things like that, but I'm not sure it's really Jess Black. And a lot of people pointed out against the Jess Black theory is that Jess Black was a very outgoing person, a very loud person. She wouldn't be the type to put a mask on and not talk. And she definitely wouldn't be the type to work for Joseph Seed, in which we know the judge, through that other snippet out of the article, is basically the right hand of Joseph Seed and does everything Joseph Seed tells the judge to do. I don't really think it's Jess Black. You're entitled to think that if you think that's right again there's nothing wrong with it it's all just game theory but personally I don't think that's Jeff's black and to wrap this video up here once again guys I have to thank you so much for 500 subscribers it is really amazing to actually get some movement on YouTube and just have a feeling that people are watching and people actually care about what I'm creating I didn't really need the gratification. I made videos even before when I wasn't getting views just because I enjoyed making videos and I still do. But trust me, it does feel really good just to get some gratification and that idea that people out there think you're creating something that's worthwhile. It does mean a lot to me and truly I have to thank every single one of you for that. So without further ado, I think we're going to call it here for today. And as always, I really do hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day.